All right, good morning. What we're gonna be looking at today is an overview of activities A, B, and C for the photosynthesis gizmo. Activity A is looking at trying to find the ideal conditions. It starts off with asking you, what do you think are going to be the best levels for temperature, light intensity, and carbon dioxide? So what you're trying to do is find the best conditions of the temperature, the light and the carbon dioxide to try to get the maximum level of oxygen production. So what you need to do, start off with this one, and you can start off right here with what they have, 30 degrees Celsius, 30% light intensity, 500 uh, parts per million of carbon dioxide. Easiest way, in my opinion, to do this is to look at the numerical values. So we start here, we shift a little bit. We'll go a little bit and we'll go back down. So we're trying to get the most. So it looks like 36 is where it stops. All right, now let's see if we can get it to go with more carbon dioxide. Nope, that hasn't really done it. Temperature. Nope. Wow, so it looks like we just immediately figured it out. So 30 degrees temperature, and you'll notice the temperature from 28, 30, we'll see how far down. So pretty much from 19 to 30 degrees Celsius, 18 to 30 degrees Celsius, we have the maximum amount of oxygen. Now for light, looks like about 36% and up is fine. So 36 and up. And then carbon dioxide looks to be anything above 280 parts per million. So you can see there's a very wide range of anything that you would have in there. Uh, they want you just to revise and repeat. Continue to go through, try different things. See if there's a point where there's too much carbon dioxide, too much light, too much temperature. All right, activity B, now what we're looking at is different wavelengths of light. Now, a wavelength is measuring the distance between the peaks of each wave. So in this, we have it measured in nanometers. So here we have 550 nanometers. And as you can see, the light is kind of a greenish color. So what it's asking us is to set the wavelength to 400. Actually, what it's asking us first is what do you think the best color light is going to be? So go ahead and choose a color now. Do you think it's going to be purple, blue, green, yellow, orange, red, anywhere in there? Go ahead and choose what you think is going to be the best. All right. Now what it's asking us is to set the visible to 400. And then what it wants us to do is go to the graph and you're gonna hit record data. Oh, sorry, let's go to the table. Record data, that way you can see it all. All right, then we add 20 nanometers. So 420 nanometers, record. 440, record. 460, record. 480, 500, oops, 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 I didn't record. 500, 520, 540, 560. And what we're doing here is we're just making a table so that we can go and look at all of the values and see what conditions, what wavelength of light has created the best conditions for making oxygen. And we can already see a pretty good indicator here of where it isn't. we can see that the worst is in this range, 540, 560. And look, we have green. 
wow, that's kind of a kind of an odd choice. Maybe when we get back into class, we can discuss why that is and how it has to deal with color. So let's take a look now at activity C. Activity C is asking us about limiting factors. So what they're asking, go back to white light, plain old generic non-visible light. And it's asking us to set some factors. So it's saying to make it 24 degrees Celsius, 50% light intensity, and 200 parts per million. Uh, it says to go to the bar chart, show numerical values. So what we're looking at in limiting factors is trying to figure out which of these factors is the problem, which is holding this back. So if we adjust the temperature, does the oxygen flow go up? Nope. It doesn't. Okay. Put it back to 24. So this is the first set of questions that's there. Uh, A, move the temperature slider up and down. Were you able to increase? No, we could not increase it. Now we go to light intensity. So let's increase light intensity. Have we gotten more oxygen? No, nope. but if we go to, if we turn the lights off, the light goes out. So if temperature isn't limiting this and carbon dioxide isn't limiting this, then we should see when we get to carbon, uh, sorry, if temperature isn't limiting and light intensity isn't limiting, then carbon di the carbon dioxide levels, the CO2 levels, should be the limiting factor. So as soon as we increase carbon dioxide, oxygen flow should go up. So let's see. And there it is. So carbon dioxide was our limiting factor. So then we go back to our questions and it's asking us, were you able to increase it? Yes, we were able to increase it. Question two, what was the limiting factor? How do you know? Well, when we adjusted temperature, did oxygen flow go up? No. When we adjusted light intensity, did oxygen flow go up? No. When we adjusted CO2, did it go up? Yes. So CO2 is our limiting factor. Now it's giving us three more scenarios and it's asking us to figure them out. So. 25 degrees, 60% light intensity, 700 parts per million. All right, so let's start again with temperature. Do we get more oxygen or less oxygen? Well, we never get above 48, so nope, that's not it, okay? Light intensity. Oh, did we get more? Yeah, we got a slight little bit more. So let's see if CO2 levels might change it. Nope, we never changed. So our limiting factor for this question is light intensity. We get slightly more. Now it might not seem like much, but it does give us our limiting factor. In the next scenario, 15 degrees, 20%, 200. A whole lot of low factors. So let's see if we can find the limiting factor in this one. We increased temperature. Did we get more? Yeah, we got some more. So let's go and check light intensity. Oh, no, we didn't get any more from light intensity. CO2 levels. Oh, no, we didn't get any more with CO2 levels. So it looks like for this question, our limiting factor is temperature, because when we increase or decrease temperature, we do get a change. All right, and finally, 30 degrees Celsius, 50% light intensity, 400 parts per million CO2. We'll start again with temperature. Oh, look at that. That is a big increase there. We got a big increase and we lowered the temperature. That's interesting. So let's try light. 31. Nope, we never get above 31. All right, so now let's look at CO2. Oh, 
No, nope, we never got above 31.3 for CO2. So our limiting factor for this one is temperature. Not that it's too cold, too cold, but that it's too hot. All right, there are our activities. There's our walkthrough for it. The final question there, number four, is asking, why would this be important to know? Explain in your own words why you think this would be an important thing to know. All right, we'll see you guys next week. Goodbye.